There's a, uh, there's a this was a story yesterday. We were talking about uh, couples that have separate bank accounts. I know one couple married more than twenty years, and he has his account and she has hers, and they pay the bills. Like he pays one bill, she pays another. Mm-hmm. And so if they want to do something, they should do it with their own money. How do they do vacations? Well, I think they combine at that point. I was going to say if it's a major purchase, I think they say okay, half from your account, half from mine. Do they own a home? Yes. Oh, yes. Is there is there an account in the middle at all? For the, between the two, I of them. don't think so. Because if you're going to put them together, mm-hmm. I mean, somebody's got to pay when you go out on vacation. Somebody's got to pay the airline ticket. Somebody's got to pay the hotel. You know, I think the way they do it, I, I have a question. Sometimes there's strength in numbers. Like if you want to get a house, sometimes you're, mm-hmm. you know, you're, you're, yeah. If you've got the the, the buying power of two, two and two one, and one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, true. But I bet you they take a look. Like you're borrowing money to buy a house, so I bet they look at her account, his account, and say, "Okay, if we combine them." Anyways, and these, and these are separate. <laughs> yes. Would and you it, like us to divide the house in half? You know, I tell you what they say is it works perfectly for them, and they're a very strong couple. I mean, they've been married forever, and keep saying that they are. They are. They're very, very strong. Mm. What would you say? What would your wife say if you brought that up? Uh, she'd say no to that. Uh, she, I she'd say we are we. Well, I brought that up early. In the relationship, uh, and she said, "Are you out of your mind? That's not going to happen." I bring more money to the relationship than she does, but she brings so many other things, like her skip dun- down prints. <laughs> <laughs> she brings her uh, uh, great knowledge. Knowledge. She brings her dynamic personality. Dynamics. Her uh, joie de vivre. Her joie de vivre. Uh, her- yeah. Parenting, her, her spirit of daring do. Uh, yes, parenting of the children, all of those things mm-hmm. she brings to the table. She does a lot of work that I don't do behind the scenes. Oh, she's behind, <laughs> she's BTS behind the scenes. BTS for sure. But we, I've always said, let's just throw it all in a pot, and then you know, if we're going to make a major purchase, let's talk about it. But if you want some, just buy it. Pick you the know? bones out of that. But don't both of you have slush funds? Quietly, we both have a little something. Where's that kept? That we file away. I keep it right here in my pocket. I keep it. I a little something. A little That's what something they say. Off, uh, close to the hip. A little something off to the side. I have a uh, a birthday fund account, as you know, my birthday money that I keep just <laughs> separately. It's like twelve. D. That sounds good to me. You're. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> D, you're talking about separate bank accounts. By the way, the, the reason I brought up that was on Reddit last night yeah. and read something about separate bank accounts yeah. and another couple that's doing it that way. D, you're talking about this as well. Go ahead. What's up, guys? It's D, your number one black P1 listener, except for James. D, you D, Amen, as baby. always, yes. Okay, I saw a clip from Steve Harvey. He said each couple needs four different accounts. And let me go through these for you. Mm-hmm. One for the bills, mm-hmm. major bills like house, or whatever y'all do together. Yep. Another savings. Yes. Then you have your personal and her personal. Well, hmm. Because you always need something for you. Right. But my thing is, we don't have Steve Harvey's money. (laughs) That's that's a fact. (laughs) We do not. Which show was this on? Yeah. (laughs) His talk show, The Family Feud, Stand Up. That's (laughs) right. That's right. Radio. He's got it all. Yeah. That's a good point. He's an empire. Yeah. I mean... Is some of it, is some of it having separate accounts trust issues? For them, the I answer is yes. I, well, I, for, for the couple I know, I don't think so. I, I just think it was easier for them to do it that way. That's what they've always told me because I do find it. I think odd. some people yeah. want to know what people are spending, what their partner's spending on. It almost seems like you're not like. I hear what you're saying, Dave, about trust, and it's, it's almost like well. If inevitably we split, I'll be okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there's that. You know, it's almost like you've planted almost a seed mm-hmm. of, of mm-hmm. doubt well, in the relationship. That. Thank you, D. I think there's just the idea of somebody's got, you've got an account, and mm-hmm. I have no idea what you're What's doing in it? with that, or what you're doing with it. Right, that's right. So are you saying, are you gambling? But if, well, but if you put it in the, if you, if you put it all in one pot, then you know. Then you have trust because, well, you see, you, you're you able see to see. It, you're yeah. able to see, that's right. Uh, blogger Jen, you're talking about separate bank accounts for couples. Go ahead. Yeah, so I saw on Reddit too. I read, um, I'm I the a hole a lot. That's yes. one of my favorite yes. Reddit threads. I've started to do that. I read about the gym. Mm-hmm. I read about sex, sex stories. stories. <laughs> and, and if you're an a hole, and are you an a hole? <laughs> yeah. 
so these couples will be like, you know, am I the a-hole because I refuse to lend my husband $10? Yes. Or am I the a-hole because I refuse to pay for dinner when my, me and my husband went out? And I'm like, what? why are they nitpicking and nickel and diming each other? Like, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Right. I, mm. I totally get where you're... Yes, exactly. You shouldn't do that. Now, Blogger Jane, you're a writer. Do you ever blog anything up there under an alias? Um, I do have an alias on Reddit. I mostly comment, and I sometimes post, but I haven't ever come up with a good am I the a-hole. Mm-hmm. Okay. Me neither. Uh, maybe I'm not an a-hole. I don't know. <laughs> Must be it. <laughs> Gotta be. <laughs> maybe. I know. I've always thought about it. I've like only... when you leave that meeting on uh, the Tuesday meeting. I am the a-hole. In fact, they create... that's my category. He is the a-hole. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. You know. Thanks, blogger Jen. Why are you asking? I, <laughs> I think when you go to I am the a-hole, my picture comes up. I'm like the guy on top. You know. <laughs> you and Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> that's right. We got that meeting today. That's what they call me, Grouch. Oh, hi, Grouch. That's what they say to me. You know. Yeah, when I come right. through there, they hate me in that meeting because I'm so grouchy in there and grumpy. You're Johnny Negative, but you're back on your diet coach now happily. Uh, that's true. Maybe I'll be better in there today. I can hope. So somebody has posted on Reddit, he and his wife, they've been married for six years. They each have their own bank accounts, and they both, he said, we both make around $175,000 a year. Mm-hmm. So that's big earnings from both of them. They split everything 50-50, including the mortgage. So when the mortgage payment comes in, they take half from his account and half from hers. Um, his wife told him she will only have a baby if he agrees to pay her $50,000 to do it because she'll have to cut back on her work and she doesn't want to cut back on the work. So she says, okay, give me $50,000 out of your account to make up for my salary. And then I'll consider having a baby because he wants kids. She does too, but she'll only do it if she gets the money. They're separate now. So if she wants to then go buy a car, she can go buy a car, you know, and he would be shorted that $50,000. I, I just think that's a wrong way to do it, don't you think? I mean, that doesn't seem... Yeah, I think getting paid for having a kid or, or, or mm-hmm. holding back the money for whatever reason, medical expenses or yeah. out of work, Yeah, that's um, yeah. that's where things get touchy. Mm-hmm. It has a bad odor to me. That does. I don't <laughs> like that. It's It, it smells a bit. It smells yeah, off. when she says that, it's like, ooh... That doesn't sound like good marriage to me. Yeah, asking some asking your partner to pay you. It's so financial. You know, it's so... Uh, Cold. So your, your friend's the perfect couple with the joint accounts, no kids. They do not have kids. They're like you. Mm-hmm. What do they call them? They're dinks. Dinks. Dual income, no kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I Look, I love my Sorry, am I the asshole? Let me tell you. <laughs> Kelly's <laughs> one income with kids. You know, you're, you're wick. I'm a wick. <laughs> I am wick. You are the wick of the week. Well, I have no question about it. I love my children. You know that. Mostly. But, uh, pricey, though. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. expensive. I have their and emotionally, this week. Uh, uh, they being emotions, taxed. But, yes. Tiny, you wanted to comment on separate banking accounts for couples. Go ahead. Hey, guys. Good morning. Hope all is well. Doing very well. Thank you. Good. Excellent. Uh, yeah, my wife and I have been together 20 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we got together, we tried to have a joint account. It just didn't work out. Yeah. Um, we've been doing it this way now, you know, 19 years, and it works out great. Yeah. So- she has her own car payment. I have mine. She pays the house payment, and I pay everything else. And it, I see. It balances out about equal. That's what my and, friends do. Like they pay. You know, one pays one big bill, the other pays now, all the Tiny, we know you have a son. How, how, does, how does the how does the kid fit into the picture? Man, that little grub snatcher don't do without nothing. Mm. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. We met him. Yeah. We've seen him. We, we've watched his son. Yeah. yeah, we've seen um, him. Mm. Now, let me say. We don't make $150,000 a piece. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't, you know, uh, but we stay within our means and, and uh, do whatever we want to. Have a good time. Live life. Yeah. That's right, man. Have you ever had to borrow from her? Uh, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then that works out. That's yeah. okay. You pay her back. Yeah, I mean, it's what it is. Hey, I need to borrow some money. I got a bill I need to pay. Yeah. You got something I can borrow? Yeah. Mm, and yeah. if she don't, then, you know, hand jobs it is. Okay. What's that? So he said hand jobs? <laughs> <laughs> hand jobs. Hand hand job. Job. Give me a hand job. <laughs> well, now, see, that's merchandise. Okay, all right. <laughs> Look, I that's, can't that's, pay that's the a, light bill per se. Yeah, that's a good and a service. That's a good and a service and a product. Said, if she doesn't have any money, hand jobs it is. Okay. okay. All right, fair enough. Doesn't pay the bills. That changes everything uh, yeah, again. No, thank you. It's not like paying in chickens. No, it's, it's not. Thank you, Tiny. All that's right. not livestock. Uh, they're married. That's fine. Hey, how you do it? How you do it? Uh, I mean, I mean uh, having money in one place makes people fight as much, just as much. 
Uh, yeah. I Isn't that the number one thing for oh, people to absolutely. break up or divorce or whatever the case may be? I made a decision not to fight with my wife over money. Well, it's because you're smart. I just said, you know. You swallowed it. I, I swallow it. You swallow that rage. Exactly. I swallow my rage, and when she spins on something, I don't think, I think well, yeah, I just swallow with some chicken. Okay, fine. You know, I'll just, I'll just work Down it with a little ranch. You know, say, okay, work a, a little longer, whatever. I'm just, you know, that's it. You know, you're going to spend it, whatever. Diet Coke help that go down. Whatever you're going to do. Exactly. Uh, but, the, but then sometimes I do feel guilty if I stop a chicken salad chick. I'm like, I don't know. Should I or not? $13 like that. Daniel, you're talking about bank accounts. Go ahead. What's up, guys? How y'all doing this part? Great. Thank you. Yeah, we've been married about 34 years, and we find it simple. We always had a separate checking account, simply because if uh, something happened to one account it got hacked, at least we have another account to back up on. Yeah, well, and that's a different wrinkle. I mean, yeah. It's been a couple of times that the bank card had been, somebody tried to use it for the last four numbers, and I tried to use the card, but couldn't actually go through with the transaction because they didn't have all the information. But uh, we find ourselves we just had separate checking accounts. Well, there you go. Interesting. I guess plenty of people do then. Thank you very mm-hmm. much, Daniel. Appreciate it. Yeah. It's a, a new wrinkle these days, isn't it? That if you're mm-hmm. checking account, different accounts in case they're hacked. Yeah, I mean, it's a good idea. Mm-hmm. As long as you got some money to get that money back in, the time to, mm-hmm. happens on a weekend. Mm-hmm. I've had that happen. But you, well, that's true, too. Yeah. You know, if you have another bank, yeah, that's, right. that's always nice, too. Uh, Bo, you're talking about separate bank accounts and uh, couples with separate accounts. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, me and my wife have always had separate bank accounts. It worked out for you? Yeah, yeah. If we go on vacation, if one of us will rent the place and the other one will have spending money for the vacation. Right. Do you flip a coin over who does what? No, nah, I will. My wife makes more money than me, so most of the time I make her pay for most everything. Okay, yeah. yeah you pay for this because she's yeah. a good woman. Make more than You're I do. kept man. Absolutely. Kept. Thank you, Bo. Appreciate it. Got a sugar mama. That's right. And, you know, I used to say things like, like when she'd buy something, like, well, you know, earn a little money. Oh, I, I don't say it anymore. I don't do those kinds <laughs> of things. I bet you no. don't. You know, I don't. <laughs> I bet you learned. No. Because she is, she's working as hard as I am. She's at home. Yes. Okay, doing the work. She's, she's running she, the family. That's right. That is a full time job. She's, Why is your eye twitching? She's doing the work. <laughs> Is there sweat on your upper lip? You're doing the work from home. <laughs> you're raising three kids. She's raising I mean, the kids. kids. That's right. Julie, you're talking about bank accounts, too. Go ahead. I am. I am. Uh, we have been married, happily married, for 32 years. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you, the one thing that I think is the difference um, is how you were raised and your family's philosophy on money. Hmm. Go and, on. And what is you your... Know, I, yeah, go, continue. Money doesn't... I mean, I'll have it when I need it, and I'm, it just doesn't stress me out. But m- my husband, it's, it's a different story. Yeah. I think you're exactly right, because oh, yeah. in my family, we saved and scrimped and didn't spend a thing. My father was all about work, 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 and don't spend. And mm-hmm. that's how I am. You know, we don't, I don't want to spend on hardly anything. Well, look at my vehicle. Look, look at your clothing. Look at my car. Look at my clothing. I don't like to spend on stuff like that. My wife's a little freer. But you're with saving that. it for a rainy day that may never come. It may never come. That's right. But I'm. Your father never had that beach house. No, he never got it. But he, you know, he retired. You know, well, he retired at sixty three or sixty five, something like. But you're right. But it was a different time. It was a different, different time. mindset. Well, he grew up kind of post depression. Yeah. So I mean, parents, yeah, they grew up poor and hungry. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always think that way. I never want to spend any money on yeah. anything. I mean, I mean, you know, I feel like we're happy. Why do I need anything? You know, why do I need shoes? I feel like we're happy. I feel like we are. You know, I feel like we have enough. <laughs> Take uh, a survey. Jackie, you're talking about bank accounts, two separate bank accounts. Go ahead. Uh, big fan, guys. Um, yeah, my husband and I have been together about 10 years. Mm-hmm. When we first got together, we had a joint account as well as separate accounts. Mm-hmm. But we always had to have a minimum in the joint account, but we always used it for bills. So we got rid of it after we moved to South Carolina about six years ago, mm-hmm. and I also spent a little too much money compared to him, so it's actually worked out better for us. Yeah, it works out, yeah, it works out for you because you have your own, exactly. Yeah, some people in relationships, you know, sometimes there's one person that's more of a spender, and I'm not talking about food and groceries right. and, you know, the things you have to Well, have. just buy something they see. Just buying something, yeah. uh, you know, going past it in a store and saying, yeah, yeah. we need yeah. that at the house, or I want it. Yeah, thanks, Jackie. Now, see, I never do that. My wife does do that on occasion, but never anything enormous. She would never like buy a car without no, saying no. to me, you know, we're buying her. I want to buy this car. 
And, you know, that kind of thing. And it, once in a while, I mean, I say I don't do it, but I just bought a new pickleball paddle. Mm-hmm. I told you yesterday, 120. And that's the joy in your life. Yeah, yes. That's all you buy. That's the joy. That's right. Jackie, one more quick call on this. Bank accounts, now, separate bank accounts. Go ahead. Yeah, my um, boyfriend and I have been together for almost 20 years. Mm-hmm. We're not married, mm-hmm. but we do have separate. And for me, I totally agree with Chris Dim. It is completely because of the safety. Uh-huh. I need to know... He is still a boyfriend after 20 years Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I can do this mm-hmm. when I get out. Like, I take care of all of my own stuff, my car, my insurance, my phone, yep. my health insurance, my life insurance. I pay the electric and the water at our house. Because wow. y'all are not, le- I mean, obviously you're not married. Do, are you do you want- have children? Do you have kids? Yes, we have two. Okay. Do you want him to, you know, put a ring on it? Pause for judgment. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hell no. If I wanted a ring, I would have gotten it, what, 19 years ago? Okay. okay. So he knows. All right. So it's, it's a sense of independence. Clearly you're hurting. <laughs> Talk about the rage inside She's you. She's covering. She's covering, obviously. 